Hello and welcome to the University of Florida ultrasound module for the medical school. This is the neck ultrasound. It's module number five, but it will be module number one for the first year class. You're going to learn how to evaluate the anatomical structures in the neck, mainly the thyroid gland and the vessels that are lying next to the gland, and you will be able to see changes in the caliber of those vessels with pressure changes. So you will learn from anatomy that the thyroid gland is located in the inferior aspect of the neck, anterior to the trachea. It mainly has three lobes, right, left, connected by the isthmus, and the carotid, common carotid vessels, along with internal jugular, lie lateral to the lobes. Here we see an anatomical drawing of the thyroid gland insider there and another broader picture of a head and neck dissection clearly identifying the thyroid gland. We are going to be scanning with a vascular probe. It's a high frequency probe and it gives us great images. We're going to make sure we are in between the thyroid cartilage and the sternal notch. That's the area where the thyroid uh, is located and we're going to have the indicator probe pointed towards the right of the patient. And this is the transverse view we're going to see where the trachea is there in the middle of the screen and anterior to the trachea you're going to have the thyroid. You're going to have the right lobe and the left lobe connected by the isthmus. And then this is a moving image of that transverse view. You're going to be able to see the trachea again. You're going to see the right lobe of the thyroid and you're also going to see the common carotid artery. If you move the transducer laterally, you're also going to be able to visualize the internal jugular vein. The internal jugular lies lateral and anterior to the carotid artery. Now let's move the probe laterally so we can see all the structures. So in one image, we should be able to visualize the trachea and the midline, and as we move laterally, you'll see the right lobe of the thyroid along with the common carotid, and then the internal jugular in the most lateral part of the image. In the anterior portion of your image, you're gonna see the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Here's a moving image of the ultrasound. You see the pulsations of the common carotid. So now, we're going to be able to compress the vessels as we apply pressure with our probe. And what happens is that the internal jugular collapses when we apply the pressure and the more uh, round common carotid, you can see that it doesn't collapse. Well, you know, that's because first of all, there's difference anatomical histological differences between the two vessels with the uh, arteries having greater collagen deposition and stronger layers. You'll see that in histology. But you're able, uh, in a way with the ultrasound, to visualize those differences. Another concept we can visualize with the ultrasound is the concept of the Valsalva. Uh, so Valsalva maneuver is named by an Italian uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor, Antonio Valsalva. Those Italian guys were naming everything. So basically, it's a, it's a maneuver when uh, there is a forced exhalation against a closed airway. So it's kind of when you're kind of bearing down, you know, and you're putting pressure. So there, there are several uh, phases of the Valsalva. But basically, there is an initial pressure uh, that rises in the chest when you perform the maneuver. And uh, all those uh, pressure changes that you will talk about in physiology... Uh, basically have a decreased return to the systemic circulation towards the heart. So if you think about it, the jugular vein brings a venous return basically from the brain and from facial veins. Um, so if you if you're, have decreased blood flow to the heart, can't, you're backing up. So you're going to see a dilatation of that internal jugular vein. Uh, veins dilate, they have uh, higher compliance. That's another concept you'll probably talk about in physiology. And you are also able to visualize that with the ultrasound. So we've talked about basic thyroid anatomy and some of the vessels that uh, lie next to the thyroid. You should be able to definitely identify those vessels uh, and long as the thyroid structures, right lobed, left lobed, and isthmus. And you should be able to see the changes 
in the internal jugular with the Valsalva maneuver. So that's all for now. We will see you guys in the lab. Thank you.